Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called Modern Women Live in Delusion. Yes, they do. She's barefoot. What the hell is going on right now? But yeah, let's uh, let's hear this uh, delusion. Let's start with money. Um, very simply, just give a number. Ideally, how much money should your man make a year, Heather? Eight figures. Eight figures. Ideally. Okay, so that's $10 million. Yeah. Minimum. Ideally. Okay. Ideally. Uh, but she's looking for... They don't want to date regular men. These chicks are looking for... Athletes. That's what their... Mind is clouded by. All these athletes and rappers... And they want somebody to make not six figures, not seven figures, eight figures. And she's going to want to sit there and say, I want this eight figure man that spent his whole life working, <coughs> working so hard to earn his eight figures a year to be loyal to me and me only. Gotcha. So, <laughs> I mean, ideally or realistically? You asked well, ideally. Let's go realistically, since ideally is. Yeah, more like. So you want to date an <laughs> NBA <laughs> player? You, you want to add a couple million on that? Yeah, you want to date an NBA player? <laughs> See, there you go. I swear to God, I have not seen this video. Like the best NBA player, because most NBA players make like three million. Exactly. You want to date the quarterback for the uh, Miami Dolphins? No, I don't think. Do or you want to date the CEO yeah. of Amazon? Um, all right, so athletes C are out. Athletes are out. Okay, so athletes are out. out. So Sorry, all your guys. ten million a, just got cut always, in half. Is this always or is this a new? Um, it's I've dated athletes and it's just not my thing. So mm -hmm. I've tried it and it's just. Perfect. So she got. She got ran through by athletes, and now she found out that athletes are not, are, are not good, or they're no good. So now she wants to go to another demographic of people and let her, let them, you know, get up in there. Personal preference. Okay. Nothing against you guys. So ideally, respect, 10 million. Fucking shit. <laughs> by the way, what percentage of men do you think make $10 million a year? I'm sure it's a very small percentage. Give me, give me a number. I, I'm not good with numbers. Yeah, I don't know. One yeah. through ten. I mean, you. No, you. We're, 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 no, we can tell that you're not good with numbers by the answer that you gave them. We're, we're clear that we know numbers are not your thing. One through ten. I yeah, mean, one through a hundred, like percentage. It's probably like a tenth of a percentage. Point oh yeah. oh 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 one percent. All right. You got this thing, girl. Um, <laughs> okay, that's ideally, realistically, I mean, what realistically, would you do? Realistically, I yeah. think six figures. Okay, is, minimum. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. Respect. So you just went from a hundred thousand. You went from ten million to a hundred grand. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just. Okay. You said ideally. Who doesn't want ideally the most amount? Come on. Pearl. <laughs> oh ideally slash realistically, how much money should your man make a year? Um, I think ideally for me would be like 70, 80. 70? 70, 80. Million? That's ideal? What the f Not no. million. Oh, I was 70 like, million like, a year. Yeah, or crazy. lose my number, homie. I don't, I don't know where, like, our girls yeah. on my show say this all the time, like six figures up. Like, I have never thought I was going to date a guy that made six figures. Why? I, I don't. You I make six figures now. Does your dad make now? more than six figures? Yeah. yeah. So w don't you want to give th your kids the life that you've had? Um, we we grew up pretty frugal. Like we made a lot of money, but we like you had a slide in your backyard. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I grew slide. up on fuel assistance and welfare. That's a very Did big the slide. Go into the pool or just so on the grass? Like the pond. Oh, oh. After oh. Your that, is that, is that that is the sign of wealth, right? Because <laughs> a slide just onto the grass. Like, it's like grow think up. About it. You you do sports. You've been able to travel. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that your family mm -hmm. like has been able to provide. Seventy mm k. -hmm. Yeah. Like it's hard to send your kids kids even in an, on an AAU team mm -hmm. yeah. yeah okay so the question is uh, because are you getting that number because there's a there's a, a study out there that says 
Seventy thousand dollars is the baseline that creates well, just, happiness, and anything above that is more materialism and consumerism. Is that where you're getting that no, number? No, I got the number because it's a little more than what I used to make at my sales job. Okay. So it's just like that's what I, I used to make, like roughly fifty k. Okay. So you said ideally, like honestly, right. I w when I, I was just thinking the same job that I used to have. Interesting. I mean, like, I, I so did what would you say to I someone who's saying, Pearl, you're crushing it right living now. Living I assume you're making way more than 70000 mm -hmm. What would you say to the people out there that it's like, come on, Pearl, yeah. you're selling yourself short. Do better. I mean, oh, how, do, how do I, I put it? I think you like, are. <laughs> I mean, how do I put it? Like, sure, if that, if that happened, like, great. I just don't think it's, like, that realistic. I mean, it's such a small percentage of guys that make that much money. Like, I think I think it would be unrealistic of me to think, oh, this guy has to make more money than me. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you some numbers in a second okay. as far as, like, what men make and what percentage of men make. But let's go down the line here, and then I'll give you some numbers. Ideally slash realistically, how much do you want your man to make? Ideally, we're on the same page. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, I would like, yeah, like a successful entrepreneur um, who is making more money than me. We did discuss, because we were on the pregame, so tune in to her <laughs> podcast, um, what like my lowest would be. And I think I said 120 or 150. Okay. Um, so minimum baseline minimum. is a six-figure man. Minimum. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Emily? These Ideally, I love where my ladies' heads are at. Let's be a little del delusional, you know? <laughs> I'd say at least 10 million. You know what? Fuck it. Let's make it 50 <laughs> mil a year. Ideally. So, listen here, Miss Piggy. You'll be lucky to get a four-figure man. Come on, let's not get ahead of ourselves right here. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm not even going to say anything. Like, come on. Be realistic. So you I guys are comfortable. <laughs> you guys are comfortable with being delusional. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not delusional. I've dated a guy whose house was eight figures. Okay. So, I mean, it's just... Okay. You know, I know yeah. it's out there. 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 You're not delusional because you've done it before. Have you ever done dating a guy who so makes ten million a year? Oh, please. I've dated brokies. Okay. <laughs> so maybe you're delusional and she's not. Those brokies that she's dated, those same brokies dated uglies. And you just happen to be one of them. I don't give a fuck. I'm calling people ugly. I'm going to call... Men and women ugly. I don't go fuck. I judge. Oh well. Not? Yeah. And you're embracing that. <laughs> I'll say but I delusional, honey. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, so realistically, yes, realistically, realistically, realistically I think on Pearl's podcast we did talk about this. Minimum for if it's a single family provider, yeah. I would want my husband job. to be making one twenty, one fifty around there. Got it. Okay. So there's realistically we're in the six figures, seventy K category. Delusional status, I need this guy Millions. making eight figures, 10, 20 million bucks a year. Okay. Now, if that guy makes 10, 20 million dollars a year, let's go there for a second. Uh, how comfortable would you be if he cheated on you every once in a while? Not all the time, but there you go. once a year. <laughs> Heather, I love you, baby, but I'm going on a business trip. By the way, I made $10 million this year. <laughs> um, so you like your you like you like your G Wagon that you're driving. I mean, you like the mansion. That's how it is. That I so you're I okay do, with that. I agree that is how it is. But Ooh. there's you know, okay. there's a payoff for everything. No, so you are comfortable with it. I'm not comfortable with it. It's not ideal if we're speaking She's idealistically. Not have a choice. But Once I mean, a year I think you'll deal with it though. If I'm driving a G wagon, I'd rather I'd rather <laughs> cry in a G wagon. No, yeah, I'm just that. saying, I would rather it. cry okay. in a G wagon. So, so once once a year, already. what about ten times a year? What about once a month? I mean, it it all depends on the situation. He's yeah. now making twenty million dollars a year. <laughs> <laughs> you have two G wagons. <laughs> <laughs> one, for my name, one for you if and one for your my assistant. Name, sure. Wow. Okay. Guys, make your fucking money. <laughs> You'll date Miss Montana. Cheat on her as much as you want. But you got to make 10 to $20 million a year. Yeah, I would okay. need an allowance. I would be like, put money in stocks for me. Like, start a, a company for me. Like, little things on the side where I'm making money. Okay. And if you cheat on me. Now, flip it. Mm. The oh, dude making 70 grand a year. Get rid of you. Or Fuck even 100 no. grand a year. No. Are you he, is he allowed to cheat on you? No, that guy will treat you better. So it's, it's a Who's going to treat you better? The guy that makes less money. Because so would it's you rather? False. Would you rather? <laughs> it's false. <laughs> would you rather? The guy that makes a buck twenty a year but treats you great, doesn't cheat on you, respects you, 
or the guy that makes $10 million a year yeah, the probably million. treats you okay, but definitely cheats on you, but you're driving a G-Wagon. Just because he... Which would you pick? I mean, it's a look, look, they're... Look. They're put in a tough position right now because they're on camera and people are going to be watching this like me. So they're going to choose the politically correct answer. They're going to be like, um, I'm going to go with the guy that's making about a buck 20, buck 30, and he treats me well, doesn't cheat on me. But in the back of their minds, they're thinking about, give me that fucking $20 million a year salary the two G wagons, the fucking one Lamborghini truck, and all that shit, and he can go out there and cheat. I don't give a fuck. I'm spending money. He can do whatever he wants. That's that's my perspective. That's my opinion. Depends on the guy. I ideally I want somebody that I can have fun with. That's really important to me that we get along because I view marriage as you know it's a fifty year long conversation. So mm -hmm. if you're somebody that I can have a good conversation with, that's what's most important to me. So if we can have fun together, have a good conversation, travel, and just have a good time, that's my priority. So it She's depends on the person. She's saying that right now, but because wow. she doesn't have that was that option beautiful. This is why <laughs> men need to make money because <laughs> girls just want to have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Fun costs money. <laughs> Men need to make money because men want women, mm -hmm. and women want fun, yeah. and fun costs money. money, and guys yes. need to make money because men want women, and women want fun, and fun costs money, and that's just how it goes. We're going to do a whiteboard episode on that, right, yeah. Nat? Yes. Girls just want to have fun. Um, you were saying, what, what were you saying about the, the, oh, the you were, oh, we were talking about how delusional you are. Oh. Continue. <laughs> You're saying that the guy that so makes 10, 20 million, 10 million, he could do whatever he wants. Can he do any wrong? No. To cheat on you? Anything? No, he still has to be accountable to me. I'm Why? Still he's his giving wife. you an allowance and you're driving a G-Wagon. Okay. Why is he still accountable? And? And he's getting this pussy. And I'm raising his children. So he's getting that pussy? So what do you have, like, a... His children? So they're not your children as well? Like, what is going on? So it's only his children? Really? Like a magical pussy that like has leprechauns coming out of it. Like, I honestly what? do. You should hit up my Sell ex them a dream. Wow. Yeah. I, Sell, I made this is what I say when I say women want to be sold a dream. You Pearl, want a rich guy that doesn't cheat she on said you? Can you. Hit up oh, my ex at least ass. she gets it. She hey, uh, how is your ex's pussy? Is that the conversation you want to have? You can call my exes and ask. Hey, I'm dating your uh, your ex. Uh, how good is her pussy? Be fucking for real, bro. She, know, she knows what rich so problems dumb. come with. I think like, ideally no one wants anyone to cheat on them. Let's find a unicorn. I think a lot of women would put up with it. Mm. But this is like the cognitive Most dissonance that I think with. men have a problem with. Mm -hmm. Right? So here you are. You got freaking Miss USA over here. Miss Montana. Miss Montana. I mean, I think you should have won, but I think it was stolen from you. However. <laughs> really? So she's, on one hand, you want a guy that you can have fun with, that treats you right, but... You also want a guy that makes $10 million a year, ideally. And you're acknowledging the fact that if you're making 10 million bucks, yeah, I get it. You're going to have, you know, more money, more problems. But maybe that guy would treat you better, but he doesn't make enough money. Th does it just come down to lifestyle? That, like, are women, I guess, Pearl, my question to you is, are, are women realistic with the lifestyle that oh, they really man. want versus what is the ideal lifestyle that they actually <laughs> probably need? Social media thought? fucked up Are they up realistic with the lifestyle yeah, that they Yeah, like, want? Th these women are obsessed with, not this woman, but mm -hmm. women are obsessed with lifestyle. I've heard you mm -hmm. talk about this mm -hmm. before. What are your thoughts on that? Well, yeah, I don't, I mean, women marry a lifestyle. I mean, because, I mean, who's the first one gone when he loses his job? Her. That's Please. like one of the number one indicators that you're going to get divorced is if he loses his job. So that's why they say like women can't love in the same way that like men can love yeah. because once you lose what you have like a lot of times women leave. This is such a true this is such a, such a good point out there. But why but men fall in love mm -hmm. like ideally, like ideologically, like romantically yeah, because they, they, cause you're not offering us anything. We're not here for your fucking money. You we're not here for you because you're providing for us. We're here because we you just simply love you. On the other hand, I'm not going to say all women, but most women, you lose that job. She is out of there. Gone. Gone, 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 gone. There's no strings attached. I don't care, baby. Like, I don't care what you do. I don't care what you make. Yeah, I, I don't care what your career is. I love you. Whereas women are like, I love you. 
but I also love your mansion, your house, your cars, even if you have and kids I, or whatever. And I think ideal I, lifestyle. And I think the older a woman gets, the harder it is for her to genuinely love. Like there are some girls that are ride or dies, right? There are, but there but I just have noticed they tend to be that way if they met their man young. And like uh, the more trauma like a girl's gone through, I just think it's harder for her. As many I see. That could be true too. Ah.